Sometimes, photos are uploaded to the web that can be difficult to explain. However, strange and disturbing images captured by cameras have been causing concern among commentators and researchers for many years. In today's episode, we will present a few photos and video recordings that are difficult to explain. Enjoy watching. A photo of a dirigible. This photo, depicting a dirigible, would not be anything unusual if it weren't for the fact that it was taken in 1911. It suddenly appeared, causing a storm of controversy and suspicions. It presents an unusual dirigible, hovering over the city of Huntington in Western Virginia. However, what makes this photo truly mysterious is the fact that the dirigible's construction seems to be much more technologically advanced than it was at that time, and its existence has not been documented anywhere else, except for in these recordings. The photos and videos show that this dirigible has a floating shape and several propellers, and it seems to have the ability to transport a significant number of passengers. This is a real technological leap compared to primitive dirigibles and balloons that were commonly used at the beginning of the 20th century. What's more, this photo shows a construction that significantly precedes the first official Zeppelin-type dirigible, which was shown in the United States a few years later. Many conspiracy theorists and historians have tried to explain the origin of these photos. Some speculate that it was a technologically advanced invention of a brilliant, unknown scientist who simply went ahead of his time but had no money to commercially promote his work. Others suggest that this video was made as a joke. It is possible that these were early attempts at photo montage. So far, however, no evidence has been identified for the manipulation of the photo and the identity of the photographer and his motives remain unknown. The photo of this mysterious dirigible from 1911 remains a historical mystery that we will probably never be able to unravel. Mysterious spheres. These stone spheres, which have been found in Costa Rica and discovered deep within the tropical forests of this country, have fascinated archaeologists and scientists for hundreds of years. These perfectly round stones, with diameters ranging from several centimeters to over two meters, astonish with their symmetry, generating an infinite number of conspiracy theories about their origin and use. These spheres are essentially perfect, and the methods by which they were created still remain a mystery to us. The spheres were made so precisely that they amaze experts, who wonder how the ancient civilizations responsible for their creation were able to achieve such a level of perfection and symmetry. The spheres are made of grandiosity, a very hard stone that only raises the level of difficulty in their creation. The reason these enigmatic spheres were created is also mysterious. Some theories suggest that these spheres were used for astronomical or religious purposes. Others assume that they served as border signs for navigation or the designation of territory. Some even speculate that they may have been left behind by a lost ancient civilization or had extraterrestrial origins. Stone spheres hold great cultural and historical significance for the native residents of Costa Rica and have been recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Work on understanding their origins and meanings continues to this day, although many questions remain unanswered. Stone spheres from Costa Rica are proof of the ingenuity and creativity of ancient civilizations. They are also a reminder that our planet still harbors undiscovered things and mysteries that we are not able to understand and which reveal the rich and diverse history of our planet. UFO and Madonna 
In this case, on the image representing the Madonna, you can discern something very disturbing. It is probably an unidentified flying object, that is, a UFO. The presence of anachronistic objects in historical works of art is a common theme in unexplained puzzles. A perfect example is an image from the 15th century titled Madonna with a Child. The painting is attributed to the Italian painter Domenico Ghirlandaio. The problem and the mystery do not concern the main figures painted on the image, but a peculiar element in its background. In the painting, we see the Virgin Mary with the silent St. John the Baptist on her left shoulder. However, you can also see a strange glowing object in the sky at which the man and his dog standing in the background are looking. The man appears to be covering his eyes, which may indicate that this object is very bright. The shape and brightness of the object have led some observers to speculate that it represents an unidentified flying object, that is, a UFO. Theorists cite this example as possible historical proof of the existence of extraterrestrial life. In addition, the object seems to emit rays of light, adding an unearthly atmosphere to it. Skeptics argue that the object is a representation of divinity, possibly symbolizing an angel or the Holy Spirit, which is a common theme in religious art from that era. Others suggest that it may represent the star Betelgeuse or another celestial wonder. Despite these interpretations, the exact meaning and representation of this strange object in the painting remain unknown to this day. The cosmonaut in the background. In another case, we encounter what was officially called the Solway Firth cosmonaut. This photograph dates back to 1964 and is one of the most surprising pictures from recent history, captured during a family outing. Jim Templeton, a guard working in Carlisle, England, took a picture of his daughter in a field near Solway Firth. When the picture was taken, an unexpected figure appeared in the background, resembling a cosmonaut. This figure appears to be a tall, white entity wearing a helmet or a spacesuit standing behind the child. Templeton claimed that there was no one else nearby when he took this picture. The photograph was even examined by Kodak experts and police officers who found no evidence of any manipulation. Skeptics proposed that the cosmonaut was actually Templeton's wife, accidentally captured in the frame, with her blue dress appearing white in the photograph due to overexposure. The helmet in the picture could be her hair, and the cosmonaut could be the shadow of her hair on her face. Despite reasonable explanations, the picture still stimulates the imagination. It has been the subject of numerous TV programs and documentaries, sparking speculation about the existence of aliens, time travelers, and interdimensional beings. A sea monster. This picture, on the other hand, supposedly depicts a sea monster. It was taken at Hook Island. The so-called sea monster from Hook Island was captured in a photograph taken in 1964 by Robert Le Serec, a Frenchman who was vacationing in Australia with his family. The creature shown in the photograph is an enormous entity resembling a stick, estimated to be 20 or even 24 meters long. It was found submerged in the shallow waters of Stonehaven Bay on Hook Island. The picture shows a large, dark figure lurking underwater with a clear head and eye, and a twisted body extending into the depths. Many people have speculated that it could be a prehistoric marine creature, such as a plesiosaur or an enormous unknown species of anglerfish. The sea monster from Hook Island remains a mystery and a local legend to this day. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive notifications about the latest episodes. Thank you for watching and see you soon.